Introducing the Chaunters for the fourth. Number one is Bye Bye Terra. By Daryl Lambert of Canal Winchester. Doug Parker trains. Dave Miller drives. Two Gun D owned by Donna Jean Anderson of Circleville. Brian Weaver, the trainer driver. Three rerun Mac. Owned by Dave McLean of Lima. Dave Brumbaugh trains. Donner Van Jr. up. Four expressive crown, all by Rupert Reed and Jim Daly and Thomas Hooser of Ontario in Ohio. Jim Daly trains Dan Ader getting the call. Five Hyatt Hill, all by Joanna Beaver of Delaware. Chris Beaver trains and drives. The six Imperial Victory, all by Jim Shunk of Overland Park, Kansas. Ken Rolko, the trainer, Bird Ashbrook in the bike. The seven Vector Champ. Owned by Ellen Bloom of Worthington, Mike Hughes, the uh, trainer, Dave Myers, in the Sonke. One play show perfecta, pick three wagering. Eight minutes until post, eight minutes. Fourth race condition trotters all in behind the gate. On the back stretch approaching the start. And uh, they're off and it's expressive crown first to leave but alongside there goes Hyatt Hill and Beaver is going to put him right of the front tonight. Hyatt Hill sprints quickly to the front end. Expressive crown comes away second and from off the pylons in third it's bye bye Terra. Two lengths in fourth. Gundy angling into five comes rerun back to the outside part sixth is Imperial Victory and at the rail is Vector Champ. Reaching the first quarter mile marker and with the lead Hyatt Hill the opening quarter 29 and two Hyatt Hill leads a length and a half expressive crown of the inside trot second by by Terra. Odds on favored at the rail is in third and Gundy is now locked in fourth first up comes Vector Champ. Inside and five, rerun Mac, and Imperial Victory moving from off the back end will take up cover in seventh. Trotting into the clubhouse turn, and it's Hyatt Hill with a lead here, a length and a half. Expressive Crown as a patient second. Vector Champ now ranging up on the outside, advancing in third, half and 101 and two fifths. To the back stretch they go, and Bye Bye Terra is now locked in. She's trotting in fourth. To the outside five, it's Imperial Victory. Gundy has been shuffled back in sixth. That leaves the trailer rerun Mac to come from off the back end. Down the back stretch, and it's Hyatt Hill still by two. Now Vector Champ is moving steadily now up alongside the leader. Vector Champ, a 20 to 1. In fact, he's the longest shot of the board, and he takes a lead. Off stride goes Hyatt Hill. And Hyatt Hill on a break here, and that puts the long shot Vector Champ right on the front end. Three quarters, 131 and 4. And now Vector Champ. Has a lead, but he has a battle on his hands. Here comes an Imperial Victory. He's within striking distance. Expressive Crown couldn't take advantage on the inside. Is again locked in third. Has a drive of the deep stretch. It's Imperial Victory on the outside. Vector Champ on the inside. It's Imperial Victory. Up to win it. A length over Vector Champ and rerun Mac. Unofficial winner, number six, Imperial Victory. Second, number seven, Vector Champ. Photo for show. Third number three, rerun Mac, six, seven, three. Fourth is official. And the six, seven, perfect to $285, 285.
Into the winner circle, the winner of the fourth, number six, Imperial Victory, a four-year-old son of the world champion sire, Valley Victory, from a speedy crown mare, Super Crown Hanover. Well, by Jim Shunk of Overland Park, Kansas, Ken Rocco is the trainer, Bert Ashbrook in the Sonke, Imperial Victory, recording his fourth career win. Trotting the Knights Mile in 202 flats. The fourth race, order of finish, bye bye Terra 4, Gundy 5, Rerun Mac 3, Expressive Crown 6, Hyatt Hill 7, Imperial Victory, the winner, Vector Champ 2, 453, 6712. Fifth race is clear, there are no changes. One place show perfect to twin trifecta wagering, no changes. Here is a Meadows update now at the Meadows. Ten minutes to the fifth race simulcast, the four horse has been scratched. Fast track, 82 degrees under clear skies at the Meadows.